sign of victory before God. Victory is for today, the devil like it or not. So to lift your hand, Father, we thank you. Yes, Jesus. Lord of Lords, we give you glory. We thank you for your word. We thank you. Thank you, Jesus. None is like you. From everlasting to everlasting, you are God. We love to love you, Jesus. We love to love you, Jesus. We give you all the glory, all the praise, all honor now and ever. In Amen. Jesus' name, we thank you, Jesus. Thank you, hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah, yeah. hallelujah! Hallelujah! God bless you. Please be seated if you can. Thank you, Jesus. Be seated if you can. I read with you one verse and we flow and pray. I gotta want to say thank you to all my precious sons, pastors, and uh, ministers who have uh, taken time to be here uh, today. Put your hands together for all our pastors. Glory God to bless Jesus. You. I love you. I honor you. I wish I could have the list and begin to mention you by name. It will take us long. So please accept my gratitude toward God. I read with you from the second book of Chronicles, chapter 6, verse 19, 20, and 21. At the count of three, I want you to join me as we read one, two, and three. Yet regard the prayer. Oh Lord my God, and listen to the cry and the prayer which your servant is praying before you. That your eyes may be open toward this temple day and night, toward the place where you said you would put your name. That you may hear the prayer which your servant brings to us. And may you hear the supplication of your servant and of the people of Israel. When he prays for this place, hear from heaven the dwelling place, and when he hear from you. Amen. Hallelujah. Quickly, I paint a picture of the reality of this text. And we will pray. This is a prayer prayed by Solomon. It was a prayer to dedicate the temple that he had built to God. God wanted a temple. And his father, the father of Solomon, David, had offered to God to build him a house. But God said to David, you will not build me a house, but your son will build me a house. That's right. And the reason why God disqualified David from building the temple was simply because the law said, written in the scripture, that his hands were full of blood. You must understand it is a privilege to build God's a house. It is not given to just anybody. Mm. That's why do not take it as a load. If you have an opportunity to sow in building the house of God, those who are listening to me across the globe, it may be your assignment to bring a brick in the house of God where you are, under the man of God that you submit to in building the house of God. It is a privilege to build God's a house. It is my plea to God that he may release an anointing that I will usher all of us to the opportunity of building God a house.
receive. May you be a builder in the house of God. I receive. Make it your prayer. Lift your hand and say, Lord, make me a builder of your house. Lord, make me a builder of your house. So, Solomon in his time, he built God a house. What a house. What a temple. He gave it all that he had. The house of God must be the expression of those who go inside. The expression of the love. If you love God this high, you will invest in God as much as you love him. You see, oftentimes we do with uh, just a simpler thing. We give God the least we can. In our houses, we have nice sofas. We make sure that our TV is a plasma big TV. But when it comes to God, we are fine and content to be on plastic chairs. None is saying, how can it be that my own house is uh, more glorious than the house of God? It's supposed not to be so. And mm. Solomon had that heart. There are people who love excellence. There are people who give only the best they have. They settle for nothing but the best. And Solomon was such a person. He went all out for God. I am here pleading with God that the true is grace. You also may have the desire to go all out for God. I is receive. there anybody who wants to go all out for God? I receive. Time is not on going halfway. It is as you, child of God, who go all out for God, that the world looking at your God, the work of God, the house of God, that will honor him because you have invested your very best. Those who get the best from God are those who understand that they have to give God the best. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, settle for nothing. Give God your best, your heart, you, whoever you have. There are key things that you must always present on the altar of God. You must present to God who you are. Your being. You must present to God what you have. And you must give God what you can do. Amen. Take my doing. Take my being. Take everything that I have. I build the house of God in a way that the world looks and says, Yo, these people love God. Are you hearing me? So Solomon, before even building and investing in himself, he put God first. We need to have cities of gold for God. Hallelujah. We need to have what the world does not have for God. That's right. That's when the world comes, they come to check and say, if these people will invest so much in the house of God, it simply means they really love God. Right. Are you hearing me? Amen. Now, after all that splendid demonstration of his love toward God, in building God a magnificent house, the Bible says, in the day of dedicating, he spoke many prophetic words in his prayer. And that these three verses reflect something key that the Lord wants you and I to know. And if you may ask, Pastor, we have not built a house yet. We are not dedicating the house of God. Why take us to this test? You must know that the house of God, as they talk about the house of God, is not just a structure. What made it important is that it represented an altar. The temple represented an altar. Now when people speak about altar, they talk about altar, others talk about shrines, and the others call it temples. So what makes a temple here was not the mere fact that it was a structure of walls. It was what backed it up spiritually. Now you and I are relating to the house of God, the temple of God here as the altar that he is dedicating to God. Because you may have not uh, erected walls for God as a structure so that men may come and worship, but at least you raise your own altar. Is there anybody who has an altar before God? Thank you, Jesus. Now, as he is dedicating the temple, I want you to relate to your own altar. I pity a man who does not have an altar. I pity a man who lives his life without an altar. Because your power base is your altar. Mm. The altar, your gateway to the supernatural. Amen. Your place of meeting. Your place of divine encounters. My altar, my life. 
my altar, my power base, my altar, my breakthrough. You will control an area if you control its altar. That's right. Are you hearing me? Mm -hmm. Whoever controls the altar of the family controls the family. Whoever controls the altar of the city controls the city. Whoever controls the altar of the marketplace controls the marketplace. God is raising your altar higher than any altar. I receive. I God is raising your altar higher than any altar. I receive. Your altar is not a making of a different kind of way to God. No. Your altar is erected on a superior altar, which is erected on another superior altar. The main fundament, foundation of your altar is what we call Golgotha. Your altar is linked to Golgotha. For I it is only it. in Golgotha that Jesus Christ has fulfilled everything for you and for me. Are you hearing me? Now, these three verses, I want you to relate to it as you are relating to your own personal altar. Solomon is praying. He's speaking to God for his altar. He's speaking to God for his altar. In building an altar, once you have uh, located where your altar will be, before sanctifying it, you give it a name. You give it a mission. You say, this altar will function in this area. This altar is erected for this purpose. It is not a place of meeting friends. It's a place of meeting God. Amen. This is my power base. And you give it an assignment. This is my family altar. Every time I will call on my God on this altar, he will stand up to protect me. I to protect my loved one, my children and the children of my children. This altar, as we will come and commune with God on the altar, the Lord God will stand against our enemies. Because Amen. this is my altar of protection. Amen. So here, he has built the temple, the altar, and is now speaking to God over the altar. You must understand, now that uh, you have built your altar, now that the sacrifice is on your altar, you must speak to God about your altar. That is key. My altar, my life, my altar has a mission. Amen. Unless your altar is greater than my altar, you cannot defeat me. I don't Amen. care how Jesus. many are you. I don't care how great you may be. If your altar is not superior, greater than my altar, you will never pull me down. Amen. Are you hearing me? So he's praying to God for the altar. Verse 9, he spoke about God dwelling there. He wanted to mean that a God is not physically there. As a human, God needs more than that. He magnified God beyond his altar. He understood that the altar is not a box that contains God. It's That's just right. a point of contact. Are you hearing me? You are not boxing God in a certain part of your house. No. It's just a point of contact. God is everywhere. But in this place, you have dedicated it for God. He said, yet, verse 8, 19, he said, yet, regard the prayer of your servant and his supplication. Oh Lord my God, and listen to the cry and the prayer which your servant is praying before you. Now, it is him praying. He said, Lord, please pay attention to my prayer. Lord, regard the prayer I am praying and my supplication. I want you prophetically lift your hand and join him as he prays. Say, oh Lord. Oh Lord. Regard the prayer of your servant. Regard the prayer of your servant. Now, when you say your servant, you are talking about you here. Your servant here is not Solomon. Lift your hand as high as you can get one more time and say, Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Regard the prayers of your servant. Regard the prayers of your servant. And his supplication. And his supplication. Say, Oh Lord, my God. Oh Lord, my God. Listen to the cry. Listen to the cry and the prayer and the prayer which your servant is praying before you. Which your servant is praying before you. One of the greatest blessings that a one should have in walking with God is the confidence that if you call on him, he will answer you. 
You cannot really stand and boldly proclaim that uh, you are an established servant of God if you have not yet established that uh, if you call on him, he will answer you. Standing in front of the tomb of Lazarus, Jesus Christ demonstrated to all of us that uh, he had that confidence beyond any doubt that uh, if you call on God, God will answer. Hence, his prayer for the resurrection of Lazarus was simple. He said, oh Lord, I know you always answer me. And if I pray, it's not for me. It's that they may believe that you sent me. When a man or a woman establishes in his spirit that God answers his prayers or her prayer, such a person will always walk in victory. Such a person's confidence reflects the level of his faith in every battle. The enemy may come, winds may blow, waves may arise, but because of the confidence that if I call on God, he will answer me. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you may neglect that thing. It is not something that you can just get through your mind. You must get it in your heart by revelation. Once you have the revelation that I serve a prayer answering God. It does not just answer the prayers of others. It answers my prayer. Amen. You look at those who are playing cheeky cheeky with you and warn them and say, don't make me pray. That's right. That's right. Don't you make me pray because you have the confidence that if I stand before God and I say, oh Lord my God, he hears. For his word say, call on me. And I will answer you now, you must understand every time you read a scripture, it is yours. You must make it yours by revelation. If you yeah. do not make it yours by revelation, that scripture remains a general scripture. That's right. If you call on me, I will answer you. Until you take hold of it spiritually through revelation, you can say it and not see it. You saying it and not seeing it. But once somebody, a young child or a mature old man or woman, has the boldness in his faith, that if I call on him, he will answer. Such a person becomes unshakable. When you hear, no, this is happening out there. The enemy is doing one, two, three things. Because you know that he hears you. Instead of murmuring and crying, you go to your place of prayer. I Jesus. know if I call on Jehovah, he will answer me. A miracle will happen. He will make a way. Amen. Is there anybody who has the boldness and has the revelation that if you call on him, he will answer you? Wave to me, somebody. We will see. Now, please have a seat. He said, regard the prayer of your servant and his application. Oh Lord, my God. And listen to the cry and the prayer which your servant is praying before you. I want to know that you answer me. I am praying that every time I pray, you answer me. Today, under the anointing of the Lord from this altar, before words are completely out of your mouth, God will answer you. I receive. If there is a man to pray, there is a God there to is answer. There is a God to answer. answer. God will answer somebody who has been praying I for financial receive. breakthrough. God will answer somebody who has been praying for a turnaround I in his process. God will answer somebody who has been praying for healing in his body. I receive. He is a prayer answering, answering God. God. That's what makes the difference between people. That's what makes the difference. Yeah. Elijah said, call on your God. I will call on my God. Amen. The God who answers by fire. Amen. He shall be God. From morning till noon. They call on Baal. 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 There was no answer. Elijah came and said, keep on keeping on call on him louder maybe he's sleeping 
is understandable. Maybe he's on a trip. Maybe he's busy. Call on your God. A true child of God must have faith and boldness. The people that know that God, they shall be strong, they shall do exploit. When you know that you know, nothing shakes you. Oh, yes. It's a call on your God. And they say that the prophet of Baal even went on making incisions on their bodies, shedding their own blood. Because you see, what really makes the difference is not that you shout louder, mm -mm. it's when you pray. What happens? Jesus. Every time Afluka who prays, mm -hmm. something happens. I receive it. They call till afternoon in the prophetic time of offering. He was dragging them to the time of the offering. Because he knows that a God in this time is expecting to commune with the altar. Then he rebuilt the altar. He looked at them and said, young boys, move. Let me show you what a true God is able to do. Jesus. The Bible says he prepared the bull, the offering. And he asked them to pour water once, twice, and thrice. When all that was done, May I prophesy that they will feel you. Oh, From this yes. day forward, they will feel you. Oh, they will feel They will me. know who you are and whose you are. I receive They will know it. that your God is not made of wood. Your yes. God is not made of stone. Yes. You serve a prayer answering God. God. Elijah lifted his hands and prayed. He said in his prayer, Oh Lord, let it be known today mm -hmm. that you are God in heaven Amen. and that I am your servant on earth. Somebody at the count of three, shout fire. One, two, three, fire. fire. This is the answer you will get today as you pray. I fire. Said, fire. Your enemies, they will not see it coming. I say one, two, three, fire. fire. They will know that in this family, there is one who calls on God. They will know that in this community, there is one who calls on God. If you call on him, he will answer you. Amen. That's what makes the difference. The difference is not in the gown, the torch. No. The difference is not in the melody behind your mind when you're speaking. We have a feeling that you're singing. I tell you, Jehovah is here. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Oh, it may sound good, but what makes the difference is not your melody. It is the answer of God. I am prophesying. May my God answer you. I receive it. You are not going home without seeing the manifestation. I receive your prayer. He's Jesus a prayer name. answering God. God. Devil rebuking God. Cancer healing God. Doors opening God. Blessing giving God. Amen. Somebody be church and say, It's my God. It's my God. He is my God. He's my God. He is my, is my God. God. Oh, yes. That's my God. Please have a seat. Now he said, carry on. He's asking God to answer him every time he prays. Verse 20. And he said, why? Why should you answer me? Why do I pray? Why do I want you? How do I want you to intervene in my situation? He said that your eyes may be open toward this temple. This day is dedicating a temple. He's dedicating an altar in the presence of many. Scribes are there to write, to record everything that is being said. It is deemed to be prophetic that day. When he's praying, he said, God, ask me. 
And he said, I am praying that you answer me in this way. That your eyes may be open toward this temple this day. This temple, day and night, 24 7. He said, Oh God, open your eyes toward this temple day and night. Meaning, the wire on this altar may be alive. Hey, Jesus. It's a live wire. There is no break. May your eyes be open to all this temple. Jesus. Someone has erected an altar. This prayer goes to your altar. May the eyes of Jehovah God be open day and night Jesus. toward your altar. Amen. And he said, toward the place where you say you will put your name that you may hear the prayer which your servant makes toward this place. Now he's praying over a place. He's saying, oh God, every connection with this place must bring about result. Every time, even if it is not me, if it is my child that comes to call on me, on you, on my altar, just as you met Moses, and you said to him, I am the Lord God of your father. Meet my child right there yes, on this Lord. altar. May your eyes be open oh, day God. and night toward this place. Yes, Jesus. To hear that not only you see, that you may hear. Mm. That you may hear the prayers next toward this place. Verse 21. He say now, and this is one important thing. He say, and may you hear the supplication of your servant and of your people Israel. Mm. It is no longer about my prayers only, but the prayers of the entire family, the entire nation. Those who are aligned spiritually with me. May you hear the supplications of your servant. And of your people Israel. And it, the Bible says. When they pray toward this place. Now this is the altar. This is the temple he's praying for. And here he's saying, Lord, hear the supplications of your servant and of your people, Israel. And he explained, he said, when, it's a matter of time, not if, when. He said, when they pray toward this place, meaning they may not be there physically. They may be somewhere far from that place. But what I have established there is so high, is a tower. When your people pray, not facing any direction, but when they face and pray calling on you, facing toward that direction, facing toward this place, he say, hear from heaven. Your dwelling place, when you hear, forgive. He say, hear them. It doesn't matter where they are. Ladies and gentlemen, if you understand this, you understand the power of the altar. He's talking about the temple, which is an altar, and he's saying to them, can I please have a seat and just sit here? I don't know who, whose bag is this one, but I'm not taking the bag. I'm just having a, a moment, all right? <laughs> he says, and you may hear the supplication of your servant. When I pray over my, my, my altar, I say, Lord, my sons, my children, the children of my children, whenever they call on you, on my altar. Oh God. Whatever supplication they may have. Mm. Whatever they may present to you. Oh God I pray. Jesus. Hear them. Mm. Somebody lift your hand. Lift your hand and read that verse with me. Put it on the screen. And may you hear the supplications. 
of your servant and of my family when they pray toward my altar hear from heaven your dwelling place and when you hear forgive them read it again may you hear the supplication of me your servant and my family when they pray toward my altar from heaven your dwelling place when you hear bless them forgive Jesus. them answer them Amen. give them breakthrough Amen. something will happen in the name of jesus i receive it you, you see my dear daughter the power is in the altar when you have an altar and it's a dedicated altar it works not only for you but it works for your children the children of your children after you mm. i decree and i declare your encounter is your family breakthrough i receive it i don't know how many people i'm speaking to but i sense the holy ghost coming down here your encounter is your family breakthrough i receive it the enemy has come and robbed your family mm. of a lot for years but here i speak as you have raised an altar for god your encounter with god is your family deliverance is your I family breakthrough receive it. i am leading you to pray if you are seated i want you to stand up something is uh, coming up in the spiritual realm your encounter your encounter your encounter is Jesus. your family breakthrough did your husband leave you did your husband leave you stand here did your husband leave you lift your hands the Bible says, Jesus. God, please answer. Mm. Many people are here. You have come with uh, all kind of loads. Some of you have already even made peace with the fact that uh, maybe your situation will not change. Jesus. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Are you hearing me? Somebody said the devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. God is telling me. Your husband is coming back. Hey. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to Jesus. W what is your name? Deborah. Deborah. Hear me. Your husband, as I speak to you, his heart is pity because you connected with the altar. And the Bible says, as you call and Jesus. cry on God to all the altar, he will answer. Is there anybody who has a prayer Somebody request? Somebody receive. Is there anyone who came to pray for his family? Yes, we have. Is there have. anyone who came to pray for his health? Jesus. God will answer you today. I receive I it. I said today, not tomorrow. I receive it. Now hear me. God is setting you free. Yes. There is an evil power, an evil spirit that comes yes. to you. Yes. You see him in your dreams yes. and sleeps with you. Yes. This spirit has been fighting your marriage. Oh. But God is saying, yes. today, as we call on his name, yes. as you've been praying, yes. a door is opening and your husband is making its way back. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I am seeing a white guy coming back. You, you even have him here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, yata sete. Not only that he is coming back, financially things are about to turn around. Receive Is there anybody who's receiving the same word? I receive. Somebody say, I receive it. I receive it. Say, I receive it. I receive it. All right, she's looking, she's looking, she's looking. All right, all right, all right. It's okay. It's okay. Put it there. Put it there. It's well. Are yes. you happy it's coming back? Um, you know, I come here. Um, I will tell you. No, no, don't My tell father. me. Just answer me. It's what? well. I know you have a lot to say. It's good. I'm asking you. Do you want him to come back? All my heart. With all your heart. Glory to Jesus. Because listen to me, little Louise has been praying. Oh my God. Little Louise has been praying. And little Lord oh. has been praying too. Oh Louise has been praying. God heard. Oh my Lord has been praying. God heard. Oh my God. You have only girls. One dead boy. Sorry? 
I had three baby, one dead boy. One dead boy. Okay, you had a boy that died. Yeah. He was a baby. Yes, nine He was months. nine months. Oh. This yes. boy was oh, sick. God. Yes. Was just like a, like yes. that. Okay. Yes. And then you had a miscarriage. I'm seeing. Yes. But don't worry. Don't Jesus. worry. There is a God on the altar. Hallelujah. The prayer prayed is that the Lord, even the descendant, even the people of Israel, I am praying for my altar. I say, Lord, whoever yes. comes to AMI, no matter what problem he brings, when he calls on you, facing this altar, connecting to this altar, Jesus, may you answer. I receive from it. From around the world, wherever you are, listening to me, as you pray, connecting to the altar here of AMI, may Jehovah, the God of Israel, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of the Bible, manifest his glory in your Somebody life in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Lift your hand and receive your deliverance. We break every spirit Jesus. in the name of Jesus. Break it. The name break of it. Jesus. Break it. Break it. Shakata Rebe Bebe. Now that you hear, he say. Anyone that prays toward this altar, there are prayers that are about to be answered. Somebody receive. I stand here. Son, move, move, open, move. All of you move, 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 move. Jesus. I am facing you. I'm hearing the first of June. Mm. God is saying the first of June. 1981. Mm. <laughs> Sheila! Hey. It's a you! Jesus. Your time has come, girls. Receive it. I say your time has come. Somebody receive. Your time has come. Amen. Jesus. Mm. There is a turnaround coming to you. Receive Everybody pull it down, pull it down, pull it down. Come In here. the name of Jesus. Come here, come here. Yamasoto, pray in the Holy Ghost if you can. Pray, pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Reketa. He has answered your prayers. You've been praying. You were waiting for me. Look at me. I was coming with my brothers here. I was coming with my brothers. Everyone is doing for good. Look at me. Oh, Jesus. I was waiting for this. You, you were waiting for this. You come to Alleluia Ministries. Yes. Where are you from? From Zimbabwe. From Zimbabwe. Yes. You live in Johannesburg? I live in Secunda. In Secunda? Yes. In Secunda Pumala? Yes. And you say you've been coming here with your brother. With all my family. I was with all family. your family. Because we need deliverance. Look at me now. Look at me. You need deliverance. It's true. Yes. There is a problem in the family. Amen. And especially on your mother's side. Are you hearing me? Yes. When Judy died. <laughs> my mother. My mother. When Judy, your mother died. Yes. It created a big issue. Because they have said that Thomas. Thomas is your father. Have you ever spoken to me before? You have never spoken to me. But I'm hearing them. They say that Thomas did not pay it in full. So Thomas owes them. So the spirit is moving and looking and looking. That's why things are not well. Are you hearing me? Yo. I'm waiting for this. Jesus. Jesus. Motoko shata rebebebe. Lift your hand, somebody. Enter into this that God is doing. I am seeing somebody receiving a miracle. I you prayed for today. Receive it. I am seeing you as a cashier. Oh, yes. I, are you a cashier? Yes. But you see, even what you're bringing in is not enough. Not enough there is a spirit that is, that is claiming you. This is the same spirit that sleep with you. That's why a relationship is not working. Ah, it's not. Nothing you do nothing, is working. Nothing, me nothing. I have a relationship with many. Nothing is working. I've tried. I'm only one daughter. And all of them, they are brothers. And everyone is suffering. Oh my God. You have, you have got you're so good. 
My daddy. Oh, Jesus. My hear me today, God. Robo setere basaya. Ah. Oh, Papa. Papa, please help my family. Please help my family, daddy. Ah. Ah. Jesus. Oh, so yeah. I don't know where you are. I don't know what you've been praying for. But I hear God is answering you now. Amen. I don't know where you may be right now. But your prayers are being answered. We Sheila's prayers are being answered. Thank your you prayers Jesus. are being answered. Somebody is receiving his deliverance right We're now. Saved. You're receiving your healing right now. We're I see saved. a door being opened for you. In the name God of Jesus. God is making a way where there seems to be no way. Amen. Receive it. Make it yours in the We're name of saved. Jesus. From today, yes, you're receiving your deliverance. Amen. Your brothers will have the same deliverance. <laughs> your last brother, Olinga also. Olinga. 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 He's smoking, he's doing all kinds of things. Too much, too much. Too much, it seems like they're using him. <laughs> they, they, they are fixed. They're taking to Zimbabwe <laughs> because the things are not working on him. My God, my God. Ah, my God. Uh, stretch stretch no your hands toward her. God has remembered you. Jesus. God has remembered you. Jesus. I, I see a beautiful hand of God. I see mm. deliverance taking place. Amen. I command every evil operating in your life to leave you. In Give Jesus' out. name. Leave in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You powers, you false spirits. Leave her. Get out of her. In the name of Get Jesus. Out of her. Pray for her. Pray for her. In the name of Jesus. Break the yoke of the Be enemy. Free. We break it today. In the name, in the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. Complete freedom. In the name of Jesus. Ladies and gentlemen, Thank you, Jesus. this is your time to pray. This is your time to pray. If you have a prayer request, if there is something you're asking God, you are asking God to intervene in your life, in an area, you are asking God for Jesus. your help. This is time. Solomon say, hear my prayers mm. and my supplication. I am praying that God may hear your prayers and your supplication. In the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to pray, begin to travel. Yes, pray Lord. and travel. Nothing will remain the same. You are going We're home blessed. It. You are going home changed. We're in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray, pray, Jesus. pray. Rakatua baba baba baba. Yenda nanta shata. My daughter. Zata koto. Rekatuta. Rekatoto toto toto. Yahweh. 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 Zato robo sete. Yomo sete. Kensa is not his portion. Mando Bozo to pray, pray. Keep on praying. Present your request to God. Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to Jesus. Hey, Mama. Present your prayer request to God. Present it to God. Present it to God. My daughter. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. The grace of God. Present your request to God. He answers prayer. 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 Jesus. Everybody travel. Travel. I'm leading you to a time of prayer. I'm leading you to that moment of prayer. Hallelujah. If you have photos of your loved ones that you are praying for, leave them up. Close your eyes. Hallelujah. If you have the photos, leave them up. If you have notes written with prayer requests, lift them up. Mm. Jesus. Bayakata. Bashata. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. Raise your voice. He answers prayer. 
Jesus. The same yesterday, today, and forever. There is a new grace coming to you, my son. Receive it. A new grace. At the count of three. One, two, three. In the name of Jesus. Receive it. Hey, away. Jesus. Pray, pray, pray. Come, my son. Yo, mo, no, mo, mo.